you notice that that bottom div completely disappears. This is because if you look at the CSS styles for your clear, it actually has a height of zero and a width of zero, and it has something called the overflow pattern, which is set to none. So you're not going to see anything, any text whatsoever that's in there. All it's doing is saying it's force us to move to a new row. So this is going to be a nice little thing that we're going to have to use from time to time whenever we want to force to go in a new row. I'm going to uncheck my live view. And I want to insert a couple new divs. And we're going to put uh, six buttons for main navigation underneath our header. Now since that we're going to have six buttons and we have a 12 column layout, this is really easy to figure out we're going to use the grid that's two columns wide. I'm going to duplicate these and then we can put the content inside of them as we need to to simulate where our links are going to be. But the other thing that you'll notice is that for our second button, the About Us, the edge of it neatly aligns with the edge of where our header goes, and our fifth button, the right edge, lines up against the right edge of our header. This is the main advantage of using a CSS framework, is in getting these elements to line up nicely. I'm going to use my class clear once again at the bottom, and we're enforcing a new row. The other thing that you will notice, or want to make sure you, you notice, is the fact that all of these divs with the grid are inside of our div container, in this case container 12. One more row with two grids divs. We have a main section where we have a sidebar. We'll have a left sidebar and we'll make it four grid columns wide. This last one can give an ID of content to. This is where most of our content is going to go. And then once again, I'm just going to copy and paste my div for my clear to enforce the fact that we know we're going to a new row. Now as you see it here, once again, this doesn't look quite right. But remember, this is because we have a couple of these divs that are clear. And if we go to live view, we can easily see that we have some space. My question is, will it look the same in Live View, which uses the WebKit rendering engine, much like Apple Safari or Google's Chrome browser, or will it look different in other browsers? Let's take a quick look. I'm going to preview this in Firefox. And you notice that it looks, once again, this is the exact same. And go back to Dreamweaver. And I'm going to preview this in Internet Explorer. And once again, it looks the exact same. This is our advantage to using a CSS framework, is it helps give us the exact same view in all the browsers. Now one thing you may see as you don't like is that my content, because my class clear is zero pixels tall, my navigation row and my header row, as well as my row that I'm going to use for my sidebar content and my main content, are right next to each other. I may have a situation where I need to have some vertical spacing in there so things aren't quite so cramped. A little bit easier to read. Easy way to do that is I'm going to go ahead and select all these divs in this one row. I'm going to do it in my code view and insert the div tag the layout. Go wrap it around the selection. I'm not going to give it a div uh, a class or an ID on this div, however. You notice it looks like they've changed colors, that's just because of the CSS rule. What I want to do, however, is I've created a class, and this is one that I created, and it's in my styles, I just call it vertical separation. I made it a class so I can use it multiple times, but vertical separation gives me approximately a 10 pixel margin on my height and on my width. Now if I come down here, you'll see that you have a small separation here between my navigation row and my sidebar content row. And if I save it and I refresh it, you'll notice how I have my separation there. So I can create that vertical separation as I need to. 
Now it's very important that I only have that top margin, excuse me, not a left and right margin. The reset sets all my margins to zero. So my div goes all the way out to the side so I don't have any confliction whatsoever. This is an important thing to note. So I just want to make sure that is clear with everyone. If I go into Internet Explorer, I can refresh. I have my separation once again. A little bit different. You can see how they handle the margins. This is because I, I made a small mistake. If I move this class clear up inside my vertical separation class, you'll notice that once again there, I have my vertical separation top and bottom. So that's just a real quick sample of how to use a 960 grid system to lay things out and how it can be advantageous in trying to get your columns to line up correctly between all browsers.